I said we're going to uh, play a course a new game. Uh, there's also arena, I will do that, but that's uh, basically just more things. Uh, the main game is you just choose new games. So. Yeah. Say so do be erased, that's okay. And that's our default name, but we're going to choose our own name, so we'll go with that. Uh, and okay, we can begin. Alright. A long time ago, Land Sakara was rich and flourishing. There was a village at the west of the land, Florica's village. People lived there happily and peacefully. Their cozy life led them to forget the dark age when the devil of Abyss Siva came out from the other ground. It brought horror and darkness to the land. Fortunately, he was sealed in the deepest place of the dungeon by the Hippos. <coughs> Recently, strange things have begun to happen again. Animals surrounding village archers were blustering and began to attack the villagers. People left the land to escape the enormity, but some are still suffering and waiting for the arrival of the calm after the storm. You, the hero, the adventurer, heard about this horrid affair and came to the village. Thus, our story starts from here. Okay. And just the intro. But we can't really jump right now, we're in the village. We can later on. So, um, let's go ahead and talk and we get the game started. Welcome to the village archive. I'm way in the head of this village. It's been a long time since I've born this video. It seems that my invocation last night worked. Okay. When I was a kid, village archive was the most peaceful village of this land. People were hit by very hot. The village belongs to Landlord Zach. He is a man with high aspirations and village floors thanks to him. But a year ago, Zach hid himself, um, hid himself in his house to do some kind of research. A huge number of monsters have appeared in the last round of the village. Since then, it had gone wild attacking, killing villagers, and many were missing. As the head of the village, I saw all this happen but could not do anything to help. Could you please stay here for some days to see if you can help finding some clues? And you basically just accept the quest. We're doing all the quests for this walkthrough, so yeah. And this is the necessary quest because you're going through the tutorial anyway, so. And thank you for signing to help. Here's the final goal. I'm going to talk to uh, Korean and the blacksmith. Okay, so yeah. We're going to do that. Just go over here. And we can click on quests to see the quests, and we know what we're doing, so yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and do that, so. And here we go, here's the black He has, um, a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff that we're going to do. Headwind has to become my weapon. And there's three types of weapons, so the falcon, sword, and axe. What we're going to do is get the axe. You can pick whichever one you want, but... It's not too big of a deal. I say they're all balanced, um, so... And then in the future, you can buy a shield, armor, etc. If you need new weapons, then you can come to him. And they make some good stuff for us. Cool. Alright, so... We've got a sword, you can see in the description. And then the hatchet, which is an axe, and a blade. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, you can see the damage values, it doesn't mean that one weapon is better than the other. As you can see, if we did it clearly by that, it would just be the axe, which would be the winner because that has the most damage. However, this is faster, so it has like more, it would have more damage per second if it didn't do 
this much face damage, but I think this is where Ballast might be better. And then there's this, this is like the fastest and has less damage, so. Um, well, we're just gonna go with this just for preference. I just like it, so, yeah. And, um, there we go. You can click next, close the window. And then we're gonna return and finish this quest. So, yeah, not too hard. Um, yeah, chapter one is pretty much just learning the game. Very good. While you're holding the weapon, you can see you're going to carry the match. Alright. And now let's do the next quest. There are lots of monsters outside the village. You need to know how to fight them. Can you go outside and tell three slime things about it? And we're going to accept this. The village is to the south. You can attack by pressing J and jump by pressing K. Your health is on the red bar at the bottom of the screen. When it's low, you may die. Um, yep. So, that's our health bar. The green one uh, for Peace Drivers, that's our um, manor bar. I don't know if that's called that, but basically it's our magic manor. That's what it is. So, just trying to explain it. Uh, anyways, you can see the quest button is flashing just because we have a new quest, which is the one we're doing right now. So, we can jump. Jumping is extremely important because later on enemies will be so much more faster than this. But, basically, you can jump over an enemy like that. That's one strategy you can do for early um, farming for higher level enemies. But we're not going to be doing anything like we're not going to be speedrunning or super high level enemies. We're just going to be playing normally. And, uh, yeah. Well, we're going to be attacking like this for. You could simply swing like this in uh, quick succession, which is also good. If you're just doing one enemy, that's okay. If it's a lot, uh, and just jump and attack like that because you can attack multiple at the same time. So, and it says that we have a map. We'll just go ahead and click this so it's not flashing. Okay, map. So, this is where we are. And there's some other places. If you click it again, you can see the full map we are in. Plain archives. The other places we will go to later. This is the village, um, village archives. Okay, so, yeah, I usually like to open the map here so we can see where we're going. We're going to kind of make more little places in the map. How many slimes did we kill? Three. So, we finished that quest already. Let's go back. And we're going to keep the map open from now on just because it, uh, it, it helps a lot. Because there's a lot of stuff to explore. Alright. Well done. It seems you understand how to fight the monsters. Here's another goal. Quest complete. Alright. And let's continue. Next, let's try something difficult. We're fighting lots of monsters. You better use potions to recover your health. Here's more gold. Can you go to Susan? And buy five small potions of healing and kill his slimes and come back. Yes. Susan is the Apple's thick furry. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, but, uh, basically the potion maker, potion brewer, um, yeah. So her house is to the left, so you go talk to her. Um, take your potions out from your inventory, put them into the shortcut grid, which is the 1, 2, 3 grid right here. When your HP is low, you can use the potion by pressing 1, 2, or 3. Alright, so, let's go ahead and you get some potions. Alright, so you take them from your selling place here at the right now. Put on the shortcut keys, use one, two, or three. So the buttons one, two, or three. Use the potions. You can also click on the double click the potions to use them. And every potions, you can get them before. Okay. So you can double click the buy, or you can simply drag and drop, which I do. So we're going to take that. And after that, we've bought all the potions. We're going to put some of them here. Like so. Okay. And now we have to leave the village of um, kill 10 slimes. So, a few more slimes, and you can come back. So, not too difficult. Still pretty easy. Alright. So, leaving. And, you see our quest. Okay. So, go. And we had a map open because. We want a lot more of the, uh, the map soon. Alright, so 
And this is the strategy I was talking about. You jump and you have multiple at once. It's safer, it may not be as quick because you can't do cold bows like this. But I normally attack them. This stuff and attacking is a lot more safe, in my opinion. So there are different methods. Okay. And we're exploring a bit. You can collect a lot of things from these monsters. You can also do farming, which I can get into, we'll, we'll get into later on in the game a bit. It's a decent thing. I'm certain that we test. We have a potion of rejuvenation, so very powerful potion. There is also a crafting recipe for that, and I'll uh, probably talk about that later. Alright? We'll level up. And we're still trying to get to uh, the quest. Alright, now we level up, we are a lot more powerful. We won't be equipping, equipping sorry, uh, skills in a bit. Uh, but yeah, alright, there's more slimes. And we're not quite ready to attack that wolf yet. So let's try to stay away from him. We could do some damage. We can if we want to. I just don't like being risky, so we're gonna like level up as much as we can for engaging in uh, dangerous combat. I don't always stick to that rule sometimes. I uh, get a bit lazy, but I'm gonna try to do that now. Okay, so let's explore a bit more. And I think we may have done the point. So here, yeah, we did. Okay, so we already finished. That was pretty quick. We may have killed a few more times than we need to, but that's okay. Just kill about two until you finish. And yeah, okay. So let's go back to the village, and he's going to tell us how to equip our skills. So let's go ahead and turn in the quest, and then we got. All right. Congratulations. You got the hang of fighting with the monsters. Awesome. Alright. I also want to tell you something about attribute points and skill points. You can level up after fighting with the slimes. Um, every time you level up, you get five attribute points and one skill points. You can click the character button on the bottom, distribute the five attribute points uh, by clicking the plus button. Also, you can click the skill button. Now, I'm sorry, this is a lot to read and yeah, figure out, but um, I'll show you how in a minute. You can click the skill button and you can add points and acquiring skills. Um, you can distribute points to accept. Um, yeah. Okay, so accept the quest and distribute the attribute skill points and come back to see him and so on and so forth. And yeah, okay. Or info. Okay, alright, so yeah, there was a lot to read, but, um, yeah, I don't like it when these buttons are really long. Anyways, we're just going to add points to the character. So, we can add points anywhere we want, and personally, I like having a good amount of luck early game just to get better loot drops. Um, although, I feel like, um, it's not the best thing to do, but that's just what we put in the new house, so. We'll be fine after this before. Um, at 2% correctly, we want to get that up to a higher number, so. Yeah. And skill. Okay, so we have an attribute points for this. Um, finality and specialty if I can. I would not choose that because it takes a while to, um, to make the attack work um, later on in the game. You can if you want to. Um, there's that, and also one for the axe, and there's one for the sword, so we've got different things to choose from based on our weapon. But for now, uh, I almost, almost forgot we had an axe. But yeah, we have an axe, so we're gonna get this. And we're gonna be saving up points too, we don't have to. Um, like, put points into these whenever they're available, we can save up for better ones later on, so. But for now, the quest requires us to do this, so we're gonna do that just so you know we have to do that, so. Yeah, that's basically it. It's not too hard, um... Yeah, but the way he's explaining it was, like, really long and boring. Uh, okay. So I think we finished that. Well then, your abilities are improved. There's an additional five attribute points on the skill point. Alright, so now we don't have to, um... 